Matt Karasek with a quick tutorial on how to set up two webcams in Google Meet with the advent of concurrent teaching. So students in the classroom, physically in the classroom, and then also students at home uh, working online with you. This is a good way for students to at home to see you teaching at a smart board or whiteboard, but also be able to see the students in the classroom. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on check your audio and video. And right now I have it set for the MacBook webcam. Okay. And so that would be the webcam that is facing me at the smart board or whiteboard. So I'm going to click join. Okay, and then I'm actually going to go and open up a new tab. I'm going to go to the same room, the same Google Meet. And then I'm going to click on check your audio and video again. This time I'm going to change the camera to my external webcam. So this would be the camera that focuses on the students in the actual classroom. Right now you're seeing my awesome bear shirt or uh, sweatshirt, but uh, normally it would be facing the students. So the online students can see the students physically in class. Okay. And then also your webcam, or at least my webcam, uh, a lot of them come with a tripod, so I would just put it on the tripod facing the classroom. Okay, and then I'm going to click join again. And I'm going to turn off the audio. So you would have one audio on and the other audio off. I'm going to actually turn both off because I am recording, so I'm getting a lot of feedback but you would have one of them on and one of them off, okay? So now you have the MacBook facing you at the smart board and you've got your external facing the students in your classroom, okay? And then what you could also do for the students online, because the students in the classroom would see what's happening on the smart board, right? You could also present either the tab. So for example, if I just present the Google Pictionary Jamboard, I played Pictionary with my students the other day. So this would be your whiteboard that students online would see through the screen share, but it would also be live in person. So students in the classroom could see you actually drawing on the physical smart board. Or if you like Smart Notebook, you would choose, so I'm going to click Stop Share, you would choose Share Your Whole Screen. So share your entire screen, and then you could uh, show students the whiteboard. So you'd be on the whiteboard physically, uh, and so students in your classroom would see the Smart Notebook, um, and then also online, they would see you sharing that. So that is how you can set up two web cameras on Google Meet. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at mkarasek at swashbo.org.